Hi everyone, welcome to Evie's Toy House and today we are making a brand new My Little Pony custom. So we are going to be making Gaia Everfree from the My Little Pony Crush Girls movie, Legend of Everfree. So Gaia Everfree is the evil version of Gloriosa Daisy. She acquired some magical powers and because she wanted to save her camp using the magical gems that she found, she transformed into Gaia Everfree. So to make this custom, we're going to be using Pinkie Pie's body because the top of her dress is very similar to Gaia Everfreeze. We're also going to be using Rose Luck's head. I recently reviewed her in the video, so make sure to check that out after this one. So we are going to take the head from Rose Luck, and this is because she has this really cool hair in the back that's uh, pointy like that. All right, let's get started. So starting with the head, we're going to remove parts of her bangs. So we're going to remove this section here on the front and I'm just going to use an X-Acto knife to cut through the hair and remove it. There we go. So you can see here there is some glue residue. That's okay because we're going to paint over it. And also on the sides, she doesn't have this many strands on the side of her head, so I'm going to remove a few strands. So one on each side. And also this little one on the top. Using some air dry clay, we're going to fill in the gaps on her forehead here. And then using strands of air dry clay, we're going to start adding new hair to her head. So we're going to add one up here on the front. We're going to add some to the top of her head. And a few strands around the back of her head. Using a little bit of air dry clay, we're going to make her headband. So this is just a thin strip of air dry clay and I'm going to embed some gems into it. So her skin tone is actually a very strange color. So what I'm going to do is mix um, light pink orchid and gray together to give it that grayish purple tone. And we're going to paint her face with it. Next, using magenta, I'm going to draw in her mask. We're going to start with smaller ovals on both sides and then we're going to enlarge it so that they meet in the middle and also it covers most of her face. Using the same magenta, I'm going to add some freckles to her face. Then with black, we're going to come back in and color in the insides of her eyes. So this is what makes her look kind of scary because they're black instead of white. Then with a the dark green, I'm going to dot her eyes right here, which is very small irises. and add a little bit of white. For her lips, I'm going to use pink and draw it in and then paint in her teeth. Using a blue color, I'm going to draw in her eyebrows. So I'm going to start with the line that goes all the way across and tapers at the end and then add a few more strokes that goes up.
on the other side the hair is kind of in the way so it's a little bit hard to draw so I'm going to turn her around there we go all right so to paint her hair I'm going to start with a coat of white And using a large brush, we're going to paint her hair entirely blue. Once the blue paint is dry, I'm going to add a layer of Mod Podge. Now on top of this layer of Mod Podge, I'm going to paint the highlights. I need a Mod Podge so that the light blue doesn't disappear into the dark blue. For her body, we're going to use air dry clay and build her mini skirt. So this is just a rectangle wrapped around her hips. And taking Applejack's skirt, we're going to trim it so that it looks like Gaia Everfree's outer skirt. make sure it fits and using an exacto knife I'm going to shave off the ruffles on Pinkie Pie's boots now we're gonna paint her body a flesh tone so this is going to be her neck her arms and also her legs With dark green, we're going to paint her dress. And we're also going to paint her boots dark green. Now with the brown, we're going to draw in some straps on her boots. And we're also going to paint her arms brown for her gloves. Using a darker brown, we're going to draw in her belt. So it goes all the way around her waist and also around her neck, which is which becomes her necklace. Using red, we're going to paint some red leaves on her dress, so up here around her chest. Down here on her skirt.
some more on her arms. And a little bit on the back of her boots. Now we're going to add in the final details to her skirt. Alright everyone, so my god, every free is complete. What do you guys think? So I think she looks pretty evil with that mask on and those very small green eyes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> So this was a lot of fun to make, mostly because of all the uh, little strands of her hair flying up. So I think that turned out really cool. It's just flying up and it's two-toned, which is really nice because the light blue really stands out. And I also did add a little headband, it has little gems on it. And here's an up-close look of her face. So as you can see, the mask uh, takes up most of her face and those big black eyes that look very, very evil. And of course, those really cool blue eyebrows. And what's really surprising about her are her freckles. So you almost don't expect someone like her to have freckles, but she does and it actually kind of makes her look a little bit cute. So down here is her outfit. It is a dark green outfit with dark green boots, but there are her um, brown highlights. So she has brown gloves on and also brown straps on her boots right there. And I also added some details there, are the red leaves on her dress, her necklace with the uh, magical gems. And down here, also the little flower on her shoe. So let me know down below in the comment section what you think of my Gaia Everfree. And if you guys like this video, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!